So the Galaxy Note series has been a while for quite a while. I mean, like almost 10 years. And the Note 9, of course, uh, was the pinnacle last year of what the Galaxy Note series is. It's gonna change this year with the Note 10, which we'll get to in this video. But the Note 9 is an interesting device. Design-wise, it's got that rectangular look, which is very Note uh, specific. But I like the feel of the device. It's got features that even the, some of the S-Line, the S-Line this year doesn't have, you know? But I think a lot of users will, will understand that the Galaxy Note series has taken us from from the uh, the small thinking of small displays to a much larger world view. I remember the very first Galaxy Note. I was there at that, that event. Uh, it wasn't even an event. It was basically a pre-briefing uh, and was exclusive to AT&T. And people said, I remember a big publication said, look, it's stupid. We don't need big displays. The pen sucks. So many things. But look at where we are today. The Galaxy Note line is one of the best-selling um, smartphone lines in the world. Um, and Note users love this thing to death. I mean, my buddy Sam is a big Note user and he will not use anything else. He may try, but the Galaxy Note is his thing. Now I do have the Casey Neistat version of the Galaxy Note 9. Samsung, please, I want this every year. It's a great way to give back. We love the see-through look. And I think a lot of fans will definitely want to give back and enjoy a brand new device. But the Note series itself, the way it's changed over the years, the way the S Pen has improved is remarkable. Now, last year we got to check out the Galaxy Note and use it on our trip to Miami. And we shot most of it, about 95% with the Galaxy Note 9. And I've got to say though that, it, I mean, the camera was just really good as, at its time last year. And I think it's still really solid. It's still, uh, still a top tier camera uh, today. Uh, but, you know, using just that simple remote functionality of taking selfies using the, uh, the S Pen, I think is really solid. Pause. Having that functionality built in and, uh, you know, uh, just, just making it easy for you to capture moments without looking for somebody else to take your photo, right? You know, that's, that's always nice. Now, the device itself, 6.4-inch uh, display, lovely display, still one of the best displays today. Samsung does a great job at that. You've got the Snapdragon 845 processor, great performance on that thing. I mean, gaming on it is really good, uh, as you can expect, uh, and it ran really, really well. I just, I just like that about it. 8 gigs of RAM, um, 512 gigabytes of storage, a 4,000 milliamp battery. Now, you've got USB Type-C to charge. You can also do fast charging, uh, which is 18 watts. Uh, still nice, but not as fast as a lot of devices out there today. And wireless charging as well, which is also slightly slower. But again, packed with the features you want, IP67 rating, those kind of things that you would expect. Now, one of the things that it does have that a recent Galaxy S devices don't have is the iris scanner. I like that. I've been able to unlock my device by just looking at it. Yes, it's a little slow. Uh, at times, you do have to kind of look, but it ensured that it was just much more secure, and I do like it. The fingerprint sensor was in a good location at the back, so that made a lot of sense. Now, the cameras, we've got dual cameras in the back, some really solid recording. Again, check out that video in Miami and also check out our camera review from Mr. Um, uh, Myrian Cell. Uh, I think you like what the Galaxy Note brings to the table. Uh, even if you're looking at a device now, especially at a cheaper price point and you don't want to spend, say, on the Galaxy Note 10 because it's just more expensive. Uh, the Note 9 brings a lot of those features. But again, for me, their spend is one of those features that really hits the mark. The ability to translate with the S Pen while you're looking at text is nice. It's just a simple feature. Now, some people may not like it. Some people may think it's not necessary. But if you're reading text and you, you know this text in a different language, you don't have to type or search. You can just pull out the S Pen and you're good. That is pretty cool. You know, those kind of abilities built into this, including the remote functionality using the camera is great. Now, I would love to see what they do with this with the uh, Note 10. Of course, it improves the writing ability, which is still key. The ability to put your penmanship down, uh, but also I'm sure they'll add some new features as well. Now we have a headphone jack, which is great because the Note 10 looks like from all indications is not gonna get a headphone jack. So 
Audio for me is really big and I can use my headphones and that's great, plus a 32-bit DAC, which is solid. It's not as great as LG's, but no one else is better. And I think Samsung comes in as a good second uh, with that. Uh, overall, it feels good to hold this device. It's solid, it's, it, it gives you good functionality, and I think it works out pretty well. Even that fingerprint sensor I think is better in terms of speed than the Galaxy S10 Plus. It just works. Uh, that's something hopefully the Note 10 will improve. Like, I like this device a lot. I'm a Note user. Uh, that's, the, that's the device I lean more to than the S. And I think the Galaxy Note line is really, really good. And if you're thinking of picking up the Galaxy Note 9, I think you are, you're fine. I mean, I think you've got a solid processor, especially with the updates to One UI, better performance on this. So uh, inclusion of night mode, uh, just the layout of the display uh, of your OS is much better. Uh, optimization is better. Now the Note 9, I think handled battery optimization really well. Uh, with One UI, I think it's much better. Uh, overall, and I think you see that performance really tapping into that 4,000 milliamp battery. To me, it's better than my Galaxy S10 Plus. S10 Plus is good, the Note 9 I think is just better than that. So that's just something to take note. Um, you know, the front-facing camera on this is the only part I, I'm not too fond of. I like what they've done with the S10, and of course we'll see that with the Note, Note 10, but the Note 9 front-facing camera is okay. In my mind, that's how I'll put it. Where do we move forward from here? Now we're going to the Galaxy Note 10. We've seen the history of the Note 9, uh, the Note series, and moving up to the Note 9, which we have right here. But the Note 10 brings a whole different scope. We've got a device that is supposed to have a 6.7 inch display for the Note 10 Pro, because that's, that's, that's the beefy one, right? There's a Note 10, but the Pro is the beefy one. Uh, we've got 12 gigs of RAM max. We've got a 4,500 milliamp battery, which now we're hearing will have at least a 25 watt charger. So it's much faster in charging. Should have a faster wireless charger and a faster reverse wireless charger. Remember, that's new on this device uh, to expect. But looking at that 6.7 inch display, thinner bezels. I mean, it looks ridiculously thin as you look at it right there. Something that you will not find on any other Note device. Centralized front facing camera, which should be 10 megapixels, but we're hearing some really cool stuff with the camera. And speaking of the cameras and the rear, four cameras. So we're getting a 12 um, a telephoto, we're getting a 12 wide, which should include actually three uh, f-stops, uh, 1.5, 1.8, and 2.4. So that's actually pretty cool. Hopefully that actually happens. And uh, of course, an ultra wide of 60 megapixels, which is the widest anyone has on the market. I think Samsung does a good job there. Um, but also a time of flight sensor. So similar to the A80, we can do bokeh photos better and bokeh video as well. Now the fingerprint sensor is moved to under the display, similar to the S10 Plus. Hopefully it is just much more responsive. It's, it's been a mixed bag. I would say it's bad, it's been a mixed bag. Uh, for, some, for me, sometimes it works really well, sometimes not so much. Depends on the update. Now, I hope this version of the Pro, uh, Note 10 Pro or Plus comes with 5G, so we don't have to actually have a separate 5G model of this device. But with the S Pen, I don't know what we're gonna get. Uh, I think we'll get all the features we had last year. I don't know what's new. I think that we improve the writing ability so it's just much cleaner and better. Uh, but there's a lot to, to surmise there. Uh, I, I'm just excited to hear what are the interesting packages that are packed into the Note 10 because I think a lot of people would appreciate that. Now, it's gonna come with the Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, same processor in the ROG Phone 2, which means we should get some really great gaming performance. And we'll give you a video on that because of course that's what we like to do here. Uh, we'll also give you a video on that faster reverse wireless charging. Is it worth it now to charge a phone? Not just a smartwatch or your, your earbuds, but a phone. Speaking of audio, no headphone jack from all the renders we've seen is done. So that means that, you know what, we've got to use wireless earbuds and they've improved. I, I like that they've improved in terms of audio. Check out our video on the best $100 um, wireless earbud. There's options, which for me as a love of audio is great to see, but I'm still gonna miss that headphone jack and I'm gonna complain about it. Sorry guys, I just have to. But I think, you know, we're in an interesting space. The Note series has come a long way, and 
and uh, and a lot of users have seen its growth. Uh, from some gimmicky features to features that are actually working great, things like, you know, uh, what do you call it again, uh, live text, uh, which didn't pick on, uh, but things like translate, which is really cool, uh, to just the remote camera feature, which is just basic and solid, right? So we just have to wait and see, but I can't wait to see what the Note 10 brings. And if you're asking me, should I pick up a Note 10 instead of a Note 9? I think it's all up on you. If you were looking at budget wise and saying, I like the Note series, I don't wanna spend a lot of money, it's a great time to pick up a Note 9. You've got great functionality on the device, uh, it's cheaper right now, um, and it still works really well. One UI updates, it's on there, so you've got the latest version of Android and really good performance. Uh, if you're looking to move forward to the future, the Note 10 looks like a solid device. They have some compromises, no headphone jack, but a lot of new features that I can't wait to see. Now, rumors also says the Samsung is going to be doing a, uh, a promotion. So if you're trading in like a, your old Note 9 or an iPhone 10 plus, uh, 10s uh, or um, what do you call it again, a Pixel, you're going to be getting $600 off. So your devices will cost almost half its cost, which it's not a bad idea. I mean, uh, well, anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the Note 9 moving to the Note 10. I think we're in an interesting place. I can't wait to see what happens. Stay tuned for our uh, coverage of the Note 10 Plus, uh, uh, Note 10 Plus and the Note 10. Uh, we're gonna be doing gaming videos, all that fun stuff for you to check out. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.